So there's a bald eagle perched in an area of this state park here in Pennsylvania that I like to call the island. Uh, we're gonna turn around and pull up and see if we can get a shot of them. Gonna switch out to a different camera and lens. Of the R7 with the Canon 800 f11 lens attached. This eagle is a decent distance away, and I'm just wondering if, even though the light isn't very bright, if I might be able to get an okay shot of them. We have to take our shutter speed way down and uh, bump up the ISO a bit. So right now if he would take off uh, my settings definitely aren't ready for a flight shot but this 800 millimeter lens he's not that far away so we shouldn't have too much uh, shouldn't have too much environmental disruption here there we go that was the portrait I was waiting for waiting for him to turn his head just like that so we're gonna drive along this gravel road the road goes right along a lake here at this state park and at this time of the year bald eagles are passing through there's a couple residents here but a lot of eagles pass through this area and they like to sit along the lake and fish. And sometimes you're able to get a shot of an eagle eating a fish in a tree. That's usually pretty cool. If I find an eagle and he's hidden in a lot of trees, I'll just move on. It's not going to make for a good photograph and there's no sense bothering the eagle if there's no photo to be made anyway. And the idea here is not to bother them at all, and that's why I stay in my truck. It's a pretty cold day, and I'm keeping the heat off in the truck so that whenever I open the window, my camera is cold, the outside is cold, and we're not going to get any fog up, we're not going to get any kind of heat wave that would happen with the differences in the temperature. Yeah, it's definitely cold this morning. And it's not fun to be driving with your window down, I can tell you that. There's someone pulled off the road up here. Probably means there's a bald eagle. I drove too far to be able to get the shot. And there's another photographer there. And I don't want to bother him. He found the eagle. He had his camera out. He was trying to photograph it. And I just think it's bad habit to do that. Um, I would be upset if someone disrupted my shoot. So if I would back up my truck, the eagle would probably fly away. Um, I'm going to go up and turn around and maybe go back. And if I can fit my car in, I might stop. But again, I'm, I'm trying to do two things here. Not interrupt the eagle, but also not be rude and ruin the shoot for another photographer. Oh, there's a juvenile bald eagle right here. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awesome. If he stays, stay in his tight. Uh, he took off. He's flying. And I'm not even ready for it. Oh, there's two. <laughs> That's actually an adult. And there's another one flying up here. Oh, they're all over the place down here. Sometimes you get great pictures in your mind. Uh, that juvenile eagle was on a perch that was away from any kind of clutter. Uh, would have been beautiful. Uh, you'll never see it. I barely saw it, but it would have been a great shot. This uh, adult bald eagle is perched up here in a tree. Let's see if we can get a decent vantage point. He's going to move quick. He pooped. He's getting ready to take off. There 
were juvenile bald eagles earlier in this area and I came up over the hill and I see that one is perched kind of close to where I stand to try to get flight shots on the hill um, and I think that I'm gonna try to, to take a walk up there and, and see what we can do so Murphy's Law it's crazy literally as I was parking the truck that juvenile eagle banked right where I was going to be standing um, it was beautiful to watch but again it's another one of those shots that looked awesome uh, in person but no one's ever gonna see and I think it was the same one and it looks like he's back in the tree now that I'm at the top of the hill where I originally saw him so maybe he'll make that flight pattern again So that was definitely worth it walking up there. Uh, that location proved to be as good as it can be sometimes. I'm not sure that I got a great shot, but anytime you can see five different bald eagles flying around, I think it's worth a little walk. They didn't get as close as I would have liked, but again, seeing bald eagles flying around nothing beats that so i hope you have the chance to get out and shoot yourself sometime real soon be sure to like this video leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel until next time see you later